I think it's, you know, it's an, I think there's something that we, we need to learn. We talk about this in, in, you know, in my activism a lot and social justice a lot is, you know, as, as white people, when we're talking about race or as men, when we're talking about sexism, we need to be willing to call in other men or other white people, right? Um, the, 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 rather than calling out, I guess, is the distinction. And, you know, Part of that means that we, ha- you know, we didn't always know what we know, right? So we have to be able to take the time to say, rather than just shaming you for making a comment, I have to actually, I think, be able to say, hey, I understand why you said that. You know, I used to think similarly, um, but I started to think about it this way. And I realized that, like, actually, it is my responsibility to educate myself in this way and to really create an opportunity for learning. Um, and it's, I have, you know, I, I, I don't do... I don't comment as much as I used to sort of online in those conversations, um, but I have had some pretty amazing turnarounds and sometimes I just trust my instinct of, even recently someone had messaged me and, and was saying like, oh, I think your post is like missing something. It was a, it was a, uh, a white woman and, um, and it was about, it was about anti-racism. It was on Martin Luther King Day. And, um, and I responded, I did a long response. Um, and then she was like, wow, I never thought of it that way. I appreciate you. And I was like, Great, I'm glad you do. Here are a few book suggestions. It, it can't stop it, just, you know, thank you for the information. 